So in the last video we talked about creating a brand new file inside of Photoshop and we also talked about what was going on inside of our Photoshop environment. However, what I want to talk to you now is, is how to open up some files. And as you can see there's a, a number of different ways that we can actually do that. For example, we can just come to File Open. And if you're following along with me, you can take the source files that I've um, provided for you and they contain a number of images inside of an images folder and as you can see here they're a very simple um, number of images these are all images which belong in the public domain and hence uh, you'll see some of them that are older some of them that are a little bit newer um, but they're all public domain images so um, they're free to use and as you can see we can certainly uh, click on these images and uh, have a little preview here that's working inside of the Macintosh environment however even if you were on a PC environment you'll be able to see that but uh, notice these are just for images they, they don't really say anything about the um, files themselves for example um, this is a JPEG uh, if I had an AI file, uh, an Adobe Illustrator file, or if I had a PSD file, a Photoshop document, we wouldn't be able to see the uh, preview until we actually open up the file. So there's a couple of things that we can do um, to open up images. This is one way. But certainly if I wanted to, I could also uh, explore some other ways of doing this. For example, I could open up um, Adobe Bridge and as you can see here it says browse in Bridge. Notice also that if you're working inside of Photoshop uh, there's a little button here that says launch Bridge and there's also another one here that says launch mini Bridge as well as over here there's a little mini Bridge button also. And if we were to uh, access any of these um, I could click on browse for files just like this and you'll notice what it's doing it's opening up um, Adobe Bridge and if I were to look at the open files that I have here you'll see that Adobe Bridge is one of the open files so whether you open up Adobe Bridge as a separate file or whether you're working inside of Bridge itself the mini Bridge um, these are all different ways that you can view and open up files. For example, I'm just going to launch Bridge, and here is Adobe Bridge CS5. And it's a really nice application that allows you to work with different documents and uh, work with different files. For example, if we went to our desktop, you would see our source files inside of the images folder. And what you may notice here is the simple fact that we have a number of these images available. As you can also see, I can scroll down at the bottom here to make these images be larger or smaller, depending on what I want to be looking at. You'll also notice that there's a thumbnail grid that you can click on. Um, there's also this area here where you're viewing things as thumbnails. That's the default. Um, you can view content details if you wish. And notice I can make this a lot smaller so that we can see what that looks like and you can scroll through all of your images. There's also information here which is just viewing it as a list and um, that's all great but I, I think the thumbnail view is probably going to be the easiest one for us to see at the moment and you'll notice that you know all of these areas are easily um, scaled as you can see here. You may or may not notice that you can also uh, take the content that you do happen to have available and one of the things you can do is to select any of these images. If you wanted to open up one of these images, what you could do in that case is to just um, briefly be able to um, take the entire folder and you'll be able to uh, double click it and that would open up any of these files. So for example, if I were to uh, double click this Petri dish file here, you'd see that it opens up inside of Photoshop with no difficulty whatsoever. If you go back to um, this particular area, let's say there's a bunch of these um, files that we want to sort of collapse a little bit. And what I mean by that is to sort of separate them into a separate group. For example, I'll select one, I'll shift click to select all of these sort of older World War I, World War II um, photographs. And if I right click on it, you'll notice that one of the things that we can do is to stack this. And you can group this as a stack. When I say that, 
what you'll notice is now I've got five images that are all grouped up here. And what that does is it allows you to open and collapse it just by clicking on the number five. If I right clicked on this and said stack ungroup from stack, we could do that. If you enable the onion skin, you can sort of see you know, a number of uh, images on top of each other, but I don't really like it that way. Um, but nevertheless, um, you could do that. If I wanted to, I could also drag more images into that stack, right? So all of these army pictures that I have here, whether you right-click on them originally or whether you um, just drag them into an existing stack right now, as you can see. So I've got 11 images that I've got open. And if I wanted to, I could double-click this and open up all 11 at once inside of uh, Photoshop. For example, I'll click OK and bang, as you can see here, you've got a number of different images that are now all available. If you want to scroll through those images, you can see here, <coughs> there's this little arrow on the side, and that'll allow you to, you know, jump through the different images, as you can see. And uh, among another th number of things that you can do is to actually um, roll through those as you'll notice here um, what you can do is to close one of these files or you can close all of these files in one shot just by pressing command W and this is the alt key and if you do that just as quickly as those ones were opened they're now closed and um, what you can also see here is that you'll be able to select any of these, you'll be able to collapse them into the elements that you have here. If these were Photoshop documents, PSDs, in fact, let's, let's also um, take note that if we're working with PSDs or AI files, and instead of just seeing the icon for Illustrator or Photoshop, you'd actually see what the files look like. So it's a really nice tool to work with, and uh, there's a lot that you can do with it. Although all I'm really showing you are some of the basics that you have here. So you can work with it inside of Bridge or as I mentioned if you're inside of Photoshop you can also work with this little mini bridge right here. And what you'll notice is depending on where you are located and as I'm pointing to that file on the desktop you can look at the preview on any one of these uh, which you can make bit larger or smaller of course and you could just double click it open up that file. So salt and pepper is opened up here and you can see that we've got a number of different works that we can easily access and work with. If I were to press my F key we'd notice that you know we don't have that floating window we're in that screen now again um, where we only see the image. So all of these things are really useful and um, really helpful when you're thinking about opening up images for work inside of Illustrator. Well, now that we know how to open up the images, let's um, continue with those images and see about working with some other tools and shortcuts, and those are going to be zooming and moving in.